The Psalms speak of the calamity and loudness of this life, and God says in response, Be still, and know I am God. There's a way to focus your attention on the gift of every moment through stillness. It's the ancient practice of centering prayer. Oh, man. Oh. So last night, last night was awful. Oh, wait, wait, what are you doing? Oh. Mm. So, see all the little critters right there? All the way through my stuff. So I woke up somewhere around one, maybe, and my entire body was covered in ants. <sighs> wow. Yeah. So that's the reason Solomon wanted to give us beds. So our beds would be off the floor so the ants don't come. So I was up for two hours fighting all the ants to get off my body and then I slept on the couch. Yeah. I think we need to bug bomb this room again. We'll clean everything and then we can also mop as well. I woke up at three and I'm like, where's Caleb? And then I like undid my blanket and then it was just black and I'm like, no. Uh. Hi. Yeah. Stop to ministry. Time to go hang out with some kids. So what I suspect we'll do right now is we'll maybe do a skit, maybe sing some songs. Just you know, try to have some organized chaos with these kids. But you know, you know the world race. Anything can change at the last minute. <laughs> Did you want to get in here? So part of our ministry this month is uh, being cafeteria ladies. The whole thing. Vamos, 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 vamos. Swimming in the water. And he said, okay, let me give you my heavy, heavy armor. David was under all the heavy weight of it. And he said, no, King Saul. He said, my defense is not in big, heavy, strong armor. My defense is in God. So he left King Saul to go back to the battle. Who will fight? David went to a river and collected five stones. And he took his small little sling that he had. And he took the rocks and went out to face Goliath, the giant. Goliath looked out at him and laughed. Uh, so Goliath picked up his sword. 
And David, and David took up his sling. And he swung it around. And he threw the rock. The rock hit him square in the head. And from a tiny stone, and the power of God, the giant was killed. So we sang that our God is so big, so strong and so mighty, nothing our God cannot do. It did not matter that David was small, that he defeated Goliath with a small rock. We have the same God who is big, strong and mighty, who can make the impossible possible. Sometimes it does not look the way we expect it to look. God's promise for a Messiah came exactly how he said it would, just like his promise to defeat Goliath. But they did not come in the ways that we expected it. When Goliath said, fight me, Saul expected David to wear the armor so that David would fight Goliath with the sword. Instead, he used just one rock. Jesus became the conquering hero, not through force, but by becoming vulnerable and dying. Very, very powerful. Very powerful. Well, okay. Thank you. Are you doing this every day? Sorry. And will you do this tomorrow again too? Yeah, I think we, we need to do this. Again. Cool. Yes. I like it. That would be good. <laughs> Did you know you're uh, giving the lesson? It kind of pisses you off. You're like, that was Rudy. Lunch time. What do you get for lunch, Nathan? I have no idea. Probably rice. And meat. Solid choice. Ant killing specialist. Ant specialist killing. So wait, this is all on team budget? Um, putting it under logic. So, yeah. <laughs> Alright, we're about to go do team time right now. So I'll check you later. Check you on the flip side. You keep doing what you do. Make sure you like, subscribe, catch in and all the action. Alright, I'll see you later.